Hello, I am Uncle Mike Mike, your favorite gamer's favorite uncle. And we are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. And one of the things that I always wanted to do was fly into Oshkosh, the Air Adventure uh, Expo up in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Don't think I'll ever get to fly a into an airplane as an adult into Oshkosh. I did when I was a kid with my parents, but unfortunately I don't remember that. And uh, so, but one of the things that I can do is I can fly into Oshkosh using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So here we are in November 2-3 Mike Zulu. You might be wondering why November 2-3 Mike Zulu. Well, if I ever got back into aviation, I would probably go ahead and attend or complete my ground school uh, using Mike Zero Alpha or M0A.com. They have an online ground school and stuff. And so, and the plane that they fly is November 2 3 Mike Zulu. And also, they are on their way to Oshkosh. They posted a video yesterday, so I'm gonna follow along with them probably a day later, and or at least once they post a video, I'm gonna recreate and do the same flight as they did, but in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. So here is 2-3 Mike Zulu. And I decided to pick the blue. It's kind of the closest to their paint scheme on 2-3 uh, Mike Zulu. So, yeah, uh, everything's looking looking good. Let's jump into the cockpit, and let's go ahead and get this started up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, the yokes here. I'm going to make sure the parking brake is, is set. I am going to... Make sure the fuel valve is in. We are on both tanks. Everything is looking good there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the master, master battery. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the avionics to get this side over here warming up as it goes through all of its tests and everything. So let's get that warmed up. There we go. Uh, while we're sitting here, we can go ahead and do some things. Okay, yep, I understand there's going to be some warnings. Go ahead and... I want to go ahead and turn off the inset map over here. We're going to be flying IFR, but TOS system test. Uh, GPS, IFR GPS. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the bearing for the GPS on here. So there we go. And also I'm going to make sure that we are on the CDI is set to GPS. There we go. You can see our flight plan over here on the multifunctional display. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to do is we're going to change this. So let's go menu, enter, enter, cycle this down, enter, menu, menu, <laughs> and go ahead and do track up. So that's going to be track up now. All right. I think I like what we've got here. Mixture is we're down in Ocala, so I haven't really talked about. So what is the flight? <laughs> well, the flight is from Ocala to Savannah. So we are going from uh, Kilo Oscar Charlie Foxtrot, so Ocala, Florida, up to Savannah, Georgia, which is Kilo Sierra Alpha Victor. So that's where we are heading to. So, all right. So mixture is rich. Uh, we are operating the airplane, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and turn on beacon and nav. Masters are all on. Switches are all in. We are going to go over here, and let's just go ahead and fuel pump it just for a little bit. Okay, that looks, looks good. And there we go. I think we're ready. Can we open the window in this? I don't think we can open the window in this one. No, I can't open the window. Okay, well, we won't open the window then. So I guess we'll just have to crack the throttle here a little and then just yell much louder, kind of like Jimmy's World. We'll just need to make sure that we yell 
nice and loud. Can I get a, can I get a clear prop? And oil pressure, oil pressure's coming up. Let's go ahead and go to about 1,000 RPMs for just a warm up. There we go. Ah, 1,000 RPMs, like it. Everything is looking good, coming up. All right, I think I've got everything set that I like. We can set trim when we get down to our run up. All right, well, let's go ahead and start listening to some weather. I think the weather is a little worse than what they had in their actual flight, the Jason and, and I'm not sure who was in the plane with them. Seven. Okay, okay. Everything's mic today. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and get our. Here we go. Copy this. All right. Pilot. There we go. I like everything that we've got here. Looking good. Just making sure everything's going good. If you notice, I, I kind of kind of look over there it's because I, I moved my webcam to right here, but it was over there, so that's uh that's why. <laughs> All right, uh, let's contact ground. Ground Cessna November two tree Mike Zulu with November let's go. ready to taxi IFR. Cessna November two tree. Mike Zulu taxi to and hold short of runway 18 using taxiway Delta Bravo. Contact tower on 119er decimal 25 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 18 via taxiway Delta Bravo. All right, here we go. Cessna tree Mike Zulu. Parking brake is off. And work. We're head we're heading to Savannah. And two three Mike Zulu. Here in Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series S. For those of you who are just joining for this one, yes, I fly Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox. I am an Xbox gamer. I will use I'm using a regular controller with the Xbox Series S, and I am also using a keyboard. So I am not using a flight stick or a yoke or anything like that because bottom line is I am a gamer. <laughs> Ground Generic November 739er, Papa Charlie Taxi to parking. Generic November 739er, And so Papa that's Charlie why I have the taxi ribbon on. So I have to you use all of Papa the Delta. airport diagram charts to figure out how to go, even though that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun to figure it out it'd be like a whole nother game right you don't just figure out the actual taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway bravo echo delta generic niner papa charlie all right got a nice little little taxi going i think we're taking off to the south i think they took off in the in in their video and stuff they took off in the north all right let me go ahead and put a notch of flaps down for takeoff. Why? Because we can. So. A 
a little more umph in our taxi here. Get a little more umph in our taxi. My cables are all tangled up. There we go. <laughs> all right. I need to make sure that dial back to the game sound here. Ocala, I've never flown in and out of Ocala here on the flight sim, but I can tell you it's a uh, it's fair. We're not at minimum, so I don't think we need to hold right here at the minimum hold line, so no, we're definitely not at minimum, so but it looks like it has from their videos from the uh, uh, Mike Zero Alpha it's, it's actually M so if I, I guess if I'm going to do that, it's not Mike Zero Alpha. Their web page and all of their stuff that they've got out there is actually Mike Zulu Echo Romeo Oscar Alpha. So they spell out the zero in M0A. So, all right, I don't see there, anybody behind us. Parking brake is set. Now we're not going to mess anybody up. So parking brake is set. Let's go ahead and come up to about, oh, 1700, 1800 RPMs. Come over here. You can see here right here is our tax 1780. We'll take that. Let's come back over here. Check the magnetos. Oh yeah, left side looks good. Bring it back up, back to 1780. Oh yeah. Check the left magnetos. Oh yeah, 110 drop within the 150. We likey, likey. All right. All right, I'm gonna let the airplane just warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and set. We are taking off here. And let's go ahead and do that, turn that. We're back on both. We're taking off here from runway, we're hidden. Runway 18, no, I think this is the way they took off. Runway 18, so I'm gonna set the heading bug to go ahead and set it to 18 south. That way in case we need it. All right, let's check all the dials and everything, everything in the green. I like colors, man. I like colors, got full fuel. We're making amps. Let's go ahead and turn on our landing lights. Let's make sure that we're squawking 7766 on the old squawk box in altitude mode. And we are ready to go. So I like, I like it. Flaps are down, let's do a wingman check. See, that's a cool thing about flight simulator, right? Is that we can do what I call a wingman check. We can go out here to the external view and make sure that we've got lights on, right? Landing lights on, flaps down. So we can actually do, I call a wingman check. All right, everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and set, make sure altimeter is set. It was not set. <gasps> but that's why we check things right here before we go. And fuel pump. So let's go ahead and turn the heat on for the pedo tube. And let's go ahead, it looks like we might have some weather, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on strobes. Anti-smash, I just don't want people smashing into us. That's not gonna, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be good if we had people smashing into us. All right, let's go ahead, let's go, let's go to Savannah, huh? Let's go to Savannah. All right, let's dial up tower, here we go. Tune into the tower, and now let's get out of here. Tower Cessna November, two tree Mike Zulu ready for IFR departure, runway 18. Cessna November 2 tree Mike Zulu altimeter 30 decimal 19 or 109 or 6 at 7. Cleared for takeoff runway 18. All right. Cleared for takeoff Let's check runway the skies. Cessna November 2 tree Mike Zulu. Again, we can do that wingman check. Just easier. All right, parking brake off. Let's go. All right, pilot breathing. We'll uh, basically have engine failure and climb out. We will land straight ahead. Once we get to altitude, we'll need to make that. I'm gonna say probably what thousand feet. We would attempt to turn back, but there we go. Let's see here. Oh yeah, two three Mike Zulu's looking so good here.
There we go. I see runway 18. We're clear for takeoff runway 18. So let's go. Hold the brakes. Power up. All right. Here we go. Let's go to Savannah IFR. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series S. Recreating the flight done by M0A here. Airspeed is alive. Everything looks good in the green. And go ahead and rotate. Stay in ground effect. Pick up some speed. You can see how I'm on the I'm on the stick here. And flaps coming up. And now let's go ahead and pitch for climb out here. If I had a problem, I'd land straight ahead, probably to the right over there. I'm just going to continue to climb out. Like I said, I'm flying the sticks here on the controller. Go ahead and do some trim, 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 trim. Call them up. Jacksonville departure Cessna November two tree Mike Zulu is passing eight hundred feet, climbing nine thousand feet. Cessna November two tree Mike Zulu Jacksonville departure altimeter tree zero decimal one nine or continue as planned. All right, continue as planned. So let's go ahead and make start making our turn to the left here. I'm going to go ahead and come back on the power a little bit here for climb. Nice, easy climb. Got plenty of fuel. We're full fuel. We don't have to worry about really about fuel here. All right, we're going to kind of going to do like a left downwind departure here to re-intercept our flight plan. Look at these clouds. Ooh, man, these look, these look pretty, um, uh, 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 what do you want to call them? Uh, ominous? Is that what they, that, would that be the word? Ominous? I don't know. They look scary. <laughs> All right, flaps are up. Fuel's on both. We'll lean out once we get to the top of our climb or as we go through a little bit, since we'll pass through 5,000 feet. So down there is Ocala, and you'll be able to see. It's pretty neat. They've got this little runway over here uh, at the north end of the run, or north end of the airport. And I've seen some videos from Mike Zero, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, M Zero A. And it's it's so I don't. I guess it's a little like uh, old training runway. So Ocala's are pretty neat, but we're just climbing up here. about to go ahead and looks like start to intercept our flight plan and our path flight path there's Ocala down there by Ocala we're off to Oshkosh in the November 2-3 Mike Zulu Sussman 172 Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series S so if you're interested in Xbox gaming <laughs> and Microsoft Flight Simulator this here is a prime example of, like I said, I'm recreating a flight that was just posted yesterday. That's Tuesday, July, what, 19th, 2022? And here I am, July 20th, 2022, recreating the flight that was posted 
on their way to Oshkosh. So we're 3.2 going for nine. And just waving goodbye to Aunt Cindy. She's going shopping. <laughs> and we're just about to go ahead and intercept where we want to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and we've got 9,000 on the altitude bug, 500 feet per minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on auto. There goes auto. Gonna set auto for a 500 foot per minute climb here. And we're pretty much on the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on to nav mode, which is GPS mode and here we go. 2-3 Mike Zulu was <laughs> turned right on, right on course. Got a little bit of a, up here, a little bit of like of a headwind, it looks like. I'm not really sure. I'm going to come down over here, though, on our, continue to climb out. I am going to go ahead and go to about a 300 foot per minute climb. I'm going to go ahead and also pull back just a little bit here on the mixture. Give a little bit. Oh, got the. Oh, got my view there set just a little bit wrong. A little bit more power here. There we go. All right, go back to 500 foot per minute climb. We're on GPS, everything is looking good here. We can go ahead and also zoom out. There we go, on the map. All right, away we go. Here is 2-3 Mike Zula, so, and let's go ahead and turn off the landing lights coming off. We are on our way here to Savannah, Sierra Alpha Victor. Everything is looking good. Climb it up 500 foot per minute. We've got some, like I said, some pretty ominous looking clouds. I'm not really sure if they're going to be, uh, they're going to be weather <laughs> or if it's just going to be clouds. I don't see any lightning. I haven't seen any lightning or anything in it because you, you will see lightning in here, but uh, I would imagine we're going to get some moisture. I'm not sure what the tops are, but we are going to 9,000. We can always ask for 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 something lower if we want to. I think they went to 7,000. We could ask, ask ATC if we wanted to to go ahead and uh, give us 7,000. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that huh? so you can see how that is. So let's go ahead and come up here and let's ask for altitude decrease. So they took, gave us nine, so we want to go to seven. So let's. Jacksonville departure Cessna tree, Mike Zulu. Request 7,000 feet. Cessna tree, Mike there we go. Climb. We're getting 7,000. All right, so we'll acknowledge that. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet, Cessna tree, Mike All right, Zulu. so we'll just come over here onto the bug, the altitude bug which is right here in this airplane it's and we're just going to drop it down to 7,000 so we're already in 500 foot per minute climb getting up here in the clouds we'll see what that's like but we might go to 7,000 maybe even a little higher oh ho, ho. which just won't be a true recreation of their flight then but you know it is what it is I'm going to go ahead and put the heading bug right on what the autopilot is doing in case you just need to switch over into heading mode on the autopilot or take control of the airplane you never really know what you know what's going to happen here everything is looking good i'm going to go ahead and actually start to lean the mixture here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here and we can do this so you can actually see it so i'm going to come back here and egt is going up fuel flow is going down UGT is kind of stabilized now, so I'm going to go ahead and push it a little bit more. There we go. All right, we're getting up in the clouds now. Oh, yeah. 
Here we go. I have already programmed in also the the RNAV approach. Uh, I'm not really sure what the weather's like in Savannah. <laughs> That's not the best thing to do. I know the wind's out of the wind's out of the south. All right, we're getting into IMC here. So let's go ahead and go into a little bit more into instrument flying mode. Now we can see more of the instruments. I was uh, I wrote a response to a uh, a comment on a YouTube video, and I remember back. I, so I, I when I was a kid, my dad was a pilot, and so that's how I kind of got into aviation and stuff like that. Uh, and then I went to school for aerospace engineering. Went to Embry Riddle Aeronautical University, got my aerospace and mathematics degree, but I never went in the space or aviation business. But um, I did get my private pilot's license when I went to Embry Riddle in Prescott, Arizona. So I flew from 89 to 92 while I was out there getting my, my degree. And I remember Jackson Fulbright was my instructor. All right, we're at 6.7 going for 7,000. I'm also watching our airspeed since I've got the autopilot on uh, climb. Okay, there we go. It's going to start pitching over in your ways and accelerating. Is I remember Jackson and Fulbright, mine, we were doing unusual attitudes. And I remember Jackson was up there and he's like, okay, you know, you know, basically put your, put your head down, kiss your ass goodbye. No, shit. <laughs> Where. We're doing unusual attitudes or recovery from unusual attitudes. And I remember Jackson said, okay, put your head down. And, and he started yanking and banking the airplane to get it into an unusual attitude that I then would need to look up all of a sudden and recover from. And, and I understand spatial orientation and disorientation in IMC because we did it once and I looked up. And he had it, you know, it wasn't too bad. And, you know, you kind of figure out what maybe the airplane's doing. Well, all of a sudden, and he was an aerobatic pilot, Jackson was. And so, yeah, he, he was yanking and baking the airplane. I'm looking down. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I know what you're doing. Up, down, oh, left, left. You know, trying to anticipate when I looked up what I was going to basically see. And look at the instruments and see what I was going to see. And I remember he did that for a while. And I looked up. And my eyes must have got like that big because he had us in basically this 60 degree nose down right attitude and power was coming up rpms were coming up quick and i could have sworn by me looking down and trying to anticipate that we were that he was trying to fool me and that we were straight and level it felt exactly like we were straight and level and when i looked up we're looking down at the ground in a 60 degree bank so it was it was an eye opener for me it it was like what the hell so yeah it was uh so yeah when these you know when i watch these you know Blanco Lirio, you know, Juan Brown's channel, right, or, or Dan Grider, uh, Probable Cause, or, you know, uh, Vass, what is it, Vass Aviation, and ATC, you know, people that recreate all these crashes and stuff. I understand this. I, it's horrible, but I understand this whole getting, you know, pilot disorientation and IMC. If you don't, you, you, you're going to trust yourself rather than trust in your instrument. So, yeah, so. Whew. Okay, here we are. We are now up at altitude. We, we, we wanted 7,000 feet. We're in the thick of it here. 115 indicated, 130 true. Over the ground, 129. We've got a little bit over an hour here where it looks like we start to start the approach. So let's take a look at the muck that we're in. Yeah, we're in the muck. It's not rainy, it's just clouds. So but there's November 2, 3, Mike Zulu. Looking good. <laughs> Ah!
we can come over here our map basically we pretty much it's almost uh, kind of direct zoom out as far as we can oh. that's us one two three decimal four yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha One, two, three. Jacksonville Center, Cessna November, two tree, Mike Zulu, 7,000 feet. Cessna November, two tree, Mike Zulu, Jacksonville Center, altimeter, tree zero decimal, one niner, continue. You get it. Plan. All right. Radar contact, there's no, there's no position. Really, kind of, well, I mean, there are position stuff that we can do here. So, so I use the ATC when I fly IFR in Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, as we can listen to it. But also, there is you can bring up the whole text of it. So, nice thing about here because it is on the Xbox. One of the neat things that they do here on the Xbox is whenever you have a frequent. Whenever you have a frequency change and stuff, they will um, make the change for you. It's pretty cool, actually. In so you don't have to do it, you know. So it's not like study level or thing. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and lean us out here for for cruise now, just a little bit more. All right, yeah, we're pretty good there. Oh, getting some getting some turbulence all right let's go ahead and see if we can get to the tops of these huh let's go ahead and let's let's ask for ten thousand. Oh, look at this look at this right here we're coming out of the clouds look at this look at this is that not a base hit oh yeah we need to go like i think we need to go ten thousand. Oh, oh that'd be so cool but this is so cool right here look at this wow <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump back in the cockpit here. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring it up. I need to know it. Let's ask for an increase. So let's go increase of three. Let's go to 10,000. Jacksonville Center, Cessna Tree, Mike Zulu. Request 10,000 feet. Cessna Tree, Mike Zulu, climb and maintain 10,000 feet. Climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Right. So we're gonna do this a little differently since this we have this available to us. So we're gonna dial in ten thousand. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a flight level change. And we're gonna do a flight level change for eighty knots indicated. Look at that, look at this. This is on the Xbox. That's amazing. That is amazing. So we're gonna do a flight level change. So what this is gonna do is that's gonna pitch. We don't. We're not gonna change any settings here. All right. Well, I can. I, I can. I still control the throttle. So I look over and I look at the RPM, and because we went in the climb, lost some RPM. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back as best I can. So back to full throttle. So 2,480 is full throttle up here. But now what's happening is the plane is pitching. Power settings, whatever we set it as, but the plane will pitch to 80 knots. So it's going to maintain a pitch to maintain 80 knots in the climb. The climb rate is then is what it is. So at this point, it's 350 feet per minute at 80 knots. So we can do a wingman check. Look at that. Look at this. That is amazing. Look at those clouds. Wow. Look at that right there. Oh, look at that. Woo, that looks nice. All right, the other thing I can do here in gaming world is I can actually take a little clip of that so I can get some screenshots, maybe post some pictures. Woo, woo. <laughs> All right, we're about to go back into IMC here as we climb up to 10,000 feet. So 
we'll see what see what we get at ten thousand. Maybe we could bust in and out of the clouds more. Be uh, be uh, be more fun. <laughs> Looks like we'll be able to shoot the visual approach, but I have it set up here to to go ahead and give us the the RNAV runway. Uh, I think we I think we're setting up for like runway. I don't know two eight. I think that's what they did in the video. So, and once I post the video, you you'll be able to get a link both to the in real life flight and video link down in the description below, and also a link to uh, M zero A, which will also be in, in the description. So a little bit of turbulence, not bad though. Looks like uh, so, just monitoring eighty knots. Got a nice climb here. We might have actually hit some some thermals or something here. We got a 800 foot per minute climb. That's another thing that I'm uh, starting to do. That I'll, I'll I'll start to do is gliders. We got our first glider, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, on the Xbox Series S. And so yeah, that looked. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun doing that. So uh, the little dots you see out there, those are landmarks and airports and stuff. Because I have I have points of interest turned on here in the sim, just so there's more. You know. The, that can be pointed out in the sim as you fly because again fundamentally i'm a gamer i'm an xbox gamer uh, but so i i do live streams and all that on my youtube channel most of the stuff i do is flight sim so all right still looking good here still we're still catching this like thermals here in the clouds because we just went from like 300 feet per minute all the way up to like 800 900 feet per minute maintaining 80 knots so you can see over there we're, we're coming up on jacksonville so since we're in IMC, let's go back where we're kind of looking at our, make sure we got our three pack down there, our backup three pack. But you can see we've we've left Ocala. We're right in the middle of Florida now, heading over Jacksonville. And then we'll just scoot just off the coast up to Savannah. I'm gonna be in Savannah in real life here in about three and a half, four weeks, just for a night. We are coming back from Florida, but driving. We have our little teardrop camper. So, yeah, I don't, like I said, I, I'm really enjoying This is about my fourth recreated flight and really enjoy it. Don't know if I want to be in real life pilot anymore. Don't really know. Um, you know, the, the added expense and all of that. And just, you know, it's just, don't know. I had the, the honor of flying with Corey Robin and Ghost out in South Valley Airport in Utah when I had to go out there for business. And yeah, it was it was amazing. But it didn't really like spark the passion in me for 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 in real life flying. The flight sim here and for what I like to do, um, really seems to scratch that itch, I guess is the saying. So and I like making these videos. I think this is fun. So, all right, we're 9.8 going to 10. So the plane's going to start pitching over here. And then we will go ahead and set the power and everything again for cruise. And I think we'll just go ahead and keep this. We'll keep this altitude. I don't see anything. It's a, it's a problem that I don't like about this altitude. Except for that we are just in IMC right now. And we'll see if we bust out of it. I guess I guess I guess really we could go to eleven thousand. So, all right, let's go ahead. And just I'm back on the power, maintain right about two thousand five hundred, and we could go ahead and just uh, lean it out just a little more. All right, losing RPM. Skip, get some rich back there. There we go. All right, let the plane accelerate here. And away we go to Savannah. All right, just for, you know, in case we needed it, and it's, it's, it takes a long time in the, on the Xbox. <laughs> so there you go. Now you can get a little bit better, better view. Yeah, let's go right there, I think. So now we can, since we're in IMC, we'll go ahead and just, again, make sure we can see our 
maybe zoom back go up a little bit still see our backup three pack down there but now you can actually see what we're doing so we're a 106 knots indicated accelerating or 100 and looks like 27 knots 127 knots ground speed 127 knots true we got this little crosswind here so that's not really it's not really helping us out much here let's go ahead and make sure we're all looking good but i like it pretty much direct flight straight to the start of the approach which is uh, i think starry is our one of our fixes that we're going to go through for the for the approach into savannah so i think it'll be a probably a, we'll probably be cleared for the visual approach but the scent down and all that kind of stuff so but now at this we got 45 minutes to go and so with that i don't know i think maybe what we ought to probably do here is if something really interesting happens or something like that but i think what we'll probably do is go ahead and speed up time here i am going to go ahead and here turn on some music that i've got so that way we can just uh enjoy the tunes i'm gonna turn off the camera and so i'll be back if uh if something something magical happens so all right all right music and i'm gonna turn off the camera see you in a bit bye All right, I am back here. What we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna ask for a step down. Maybe get underneath these clouds. I think that's something we ought to try to do. Why? I don't know, just for the scenery? <laughs> Maybe we can see something. I mean, we're kind of been busted in and out of the clouds here, but since we're kind of passing right over Jacksonville, see if we can get a step down. I mean, here we come, coming out of the clouds again. Maybe we get an idea here before we ask. Maybe we can get an idea of the top or the bottoms of these things. Maybe we can just scud rud right right along the bottom of them. Just to give us something to to see. We tried seven thousand, but we were in the muck. Maybe we can try six thousand. So let's go ahead and So we're at ten, let's ask for a decrease of four. It is option four. Jacksonville Center, Cessna Tree, Mike Zulu. Request six thousand feet. All right, so we'll come over. We'll come over here then on the heading bug. Drop it down to 6,000 feet. And then we'll go ahead and put on a vertical descent is what we'll do. Because then we'll drop it down 500 feet. Uh, yeah, we'll try 600 feet per minute here to start. I don't want to change any of the power settings, uh, but I'll need to, to, I'll need to re reduce the power a little bit. Just a little bit, still keeping it at right around 2,500 RPMs as we go into the descent. Of course, we'll accelerate, so that'll that'll be good. But we'll just come down here at 600 feet per minute as we pass over Jacksonville. Here we go. I 
They might yell at us, want us down a little bit faster so we could pull. Do I need to acknowledge that? No. Just telling me to do it. So, alright, so let's go ahead and go to a thousand feet per minute. Let's come back on the power. There we go. About 2400 RPMs. We'll need to remember that as we drop down here, we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of richness to it. As we descend down, we can go ahead and go back to our lean cruise once we get down to 6,000 feet here. So everything's looking good now. We're in a nice descent, 1,000 feet per minute. 118 indicated, now 136 knots true, 135 knots over the ground as we pass over Jacksonville. In nothing <laughs> in IMC so that's what I was gonna try to drop down we're gonna we're gonna continue our IFR flight here I'm not gonna cancel IFR if we bust out of this stuff I just wanted to have some scenery to look at here of course we're coming out over the ocean here soon so there won't be that much scenery to see everything's looking good 8.5 going down to 6 120 knots indicated 137 knots over the ground and as you can see because I've turned them on you can actually see now I've, I've got points of interest so they pop up that's how that's kind of the gaming you can turn those off in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S if you don't like to have those so you make you want to make it a little more difficult you know to find airports and all that kind of stuff sometimes I fly with them on sometimes I fly with them off I figured right now I'd fly with them on so that way there's more if you're watching the video and you want to see you know you can you can point it out much easier because it's hard to, if you're like oh look there's the airport in sight for you as the viewer it's kind of hard to see <laughs> so all right 7.8 going to six see if we can bust out of these clouds we try to go up but their their tops are too massive for us also turned on the lights and stuff over here down there on the on the three pack and panel lights and all that since it was a little dark here in the clouds so. all right 7.3 going to six looks like we're starting to maybe get dark usually when it gets darker like this usually it's uh you're about to bust out of the cloud so All right, we're back to our original cruise at 7,000. So 7,000. Seven thousand going to six. There we go, we're busting out of them now. Maybe we'll actually be able to now have a view of the coast as we go. So there we go. So 6.6. .6. So they're right about six and a half. I guess we could do a what a, a pie rep, huh? Can't really do pie reps in the flight sim, but you could tell them that the the bases of these clouds are down here right about you know six point four, six point three, maybe right at six. I don't know. So Jacksonville Center, exit at seven one six. It's passing eight thousand nine hundred feet. All right, six point two going to six. There we go. It's intercepting. I'll bring the power back in here. It starts to level off at six thousand. Oh yeah, we're gonna be like right at the, right at the base of these. Oh, this could be kind of fun. Come back two thousand five hundred RPMs. Go ahead and just uh, lean it out there just a little bit. 2,500 RPMs. Okay, I like it. We're leveled off. 115 knots over the ground, 116 true, 103 indicated. And we are right at the base of these things now. So at least now we have we have something to see. So you can see there's Jacksonville. There's, there's the actual 
town of Jacksonville. I think back over there. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Just running right at the base of them here. So it'll definitely be probably a visual approach, even though I've got it set up for the RNAV. So we've got a little bit over, what, 20 minutes here before we get to this uh, first fix here. Starry is our waypoint coming up. In, uh, in in 22 minutes, we are 45 miles away from from that. Just going to kind of go right up the coast here, and then uh, come in over Tybee Island and all that kind of stuff. I think into maybe runway 28. See if they change. That's what I filed for, but we'll see what what they've actually eventually give us once we get up here. So, but now that we've got some. So now we got some scenery. We can actually fly in a ranch over there. Well, there's the coast. Roads and out to out to the Jacksonville beaches. Of course, now we're we're over into Georgia. Georgia, sweet. Georgia. You can see you can see Starry on here. That's where we start to turn inbound towards Savannah. In this video, Jason from M Zero A is actually sitting in the in the right seat. He's a flight instructor and all that. So there he is in the in the right seat. And again, I don't know who's in the left seat in the video. I don't know if they introduced themselves or not in the video, but but there they are. Flying on their way to Savannah. First leg on their way to Oshkosh. Remember, I am going to recreate their flights, and I'm going to make videos rather than live streams. I will continue to live stream uh, recreated flights, but I decided for this one I was going to condense some of the flying segments, and uh, so that way the video is not that long. But there they are on their way to Oshkosh in November 2 3. Mike Zulu from M0A Ground School, Flight School, and all that kind of stuff. Again, I will put the link in the description to all of their stuff out there. So, yeah, looking good, looking good. Look at that. It's like, oh, that's a good looking shot right there where you can see the, the G1000s in there. Check that out, huh? Yeah, looking good. Very nice. Look at that. That's yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> All right, everything's looking good. We are still on course. Just crossing over the coast here, just north of Jacksonville, going up the Georgia coast. But everything is looking real, real good here. Twenty minutes out. So, all right. Well, with that, I will probably get back with you when we hit the starry wave point out there that I can see. So I'll be back here in about, oh, 15 minutes or so. All right, so enjoy. Bye. It is getting pretty busy out here. So I am back with you here in the cockpit. We're still just kind of scud running right on the base of these. In IMC, IFR. 
just about to get to the fix here start where we'll start turning back inbound toward the coast uh, I filed for a runway 28 the, the wind looked like it was out of the west but uh, we'll see what what they give us once we get up here I think that's how it works I think they actually you can land downwind if you want if you want to follow that you know file that approach but uh, right now it looks pretty light so we'll just see what they give us still 108 knots here 120 true and 100 looks like about 19 over the ground so thought maybe we'd have a uh, tailwind kind of like the guys did in their in the real video of m in m0a but we didn't get that so and we got a lot more clouds than what it looks like they had in their video but it's been fun busting in and out of those clouds they look really really good here looks like we're just about to bust out of the clouds again right here again so look at that yeah. number two three mike zulu here all in the look at look at that oh that is on a console right on a gaming console all right so we're at six thousand feet inbound we're just about five minutes or so out here from the uh starry fix which which will do a left turn and head toward the coast Things looking good. Just looking at the uh, text of ATC. Now, if you want, you know, you can. It, it, it's completely possible. You can. You can go in. You can go ahead and activate COM two. You can, you know, listen to ATIS and all that kind of stuff to get the weather. Um, if you use Sky Vector or anything like that, uh, you can. But again, I'm 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 a gamer, so I kind of keep it as simple as possible to the game. Like I said, flying with a controller and a keyboard so everything's looking good but yeah we're just uh about eight miles here from that uh, fix here starry there on the map we can come over here just so we get a little bit better view on the map we can go ahead and you can see all of the other airplanes in the area So things are happening. Of course, we are listening to I think Jackson Center, so that's why it's 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 busy. <laughs> so. So we've got somebody inbound here over our three o'clock. This G, this G1000 doesn't give us uh, altitude information, so. But I would imagine that's probably a uh, commercial way up high. I think there's a, I think there's an, an update where we could actually, that updates the G1000. I know it had some bugs and stuff like that initially, so I don't have it installed. So probably up high probably commercial but we're in the thick of it we'll let ATC let us know here as we are five miles from starry fix just a couple minutes out we'll make a slight right or sorry slight left turn and then things will probably start to get busy as we get closer to Savannah do we got to put this thing on the ground It's passing right over us here, right off the nose. Like I said, I'm sure it's probably just way up there. Two, three, Mike Zulus, performing well here, going up the coast, going to Savannah, on the way to Oshkosh here on Microsoft Flight Center 2020 on the Xbox Series S, recreating the flights that M0A are doing here at the 
they just posted them last night so I decided well I'm gonna recreate them the next day so we're gonna continue to watch looks like we might be busting out of the clouds here a little bit and so yep I'm gonna continue to watch for their videos and recreate their videos all the way to Oshkosh so you'll see those pop up here on my YouTube channel all right a little bit of turbulence here right on the bottom of these and we are just about to get to the fixed starry take that left turn head inbound toward savannah we might get altitude then uh, drop there we'll see here so we got just monitoring everything that's going on we can look down make sure we got our three pack visible there Starting this left turn here now. There we go. Everything's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and let this settle here on this new heading, and then I'll go ahead and recenter the heading bug. What was this? Two A Air and hashtag ninety one. Fifty two and hashtag ninety three. Six eight for Jacksonville Center. Continue as planned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's uh that's interesting uh, call sign there. Never heard that before. Alright, got about twelve minutes here as we go up the coast. Inbound. Look at that, look at that over there. That is Again, I'm, I'm amazed that this kind of weather simulation is on the Xbox Series S. I'm looking forward to getting an Xbox Series X with the improved power. But November 2 3, Mike Zulu's performing real well for us. Let's go ahead and get in the cockpit and just see what we see if there's anything we like, we don't like. I think everything is on. You can kind of. We can kind of do a, 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 a gumps check out here if we need to. So gas looks good. Undercarriage is down. Mixture is set. We'll need to obviously go a little bit richer as we drop down in in uh, altitude. Uh, no props to worry about. Seats and seat belts. All, everything's looking good. So yeah, definitely see the coast now. Got a little break in these clouds. Again, it's VFR on the bottom, so we'll be able to... Should be no problems on our descent and landing here. But right off the nose is, is coming up there under the clouds. Can't really see it, but Tybee Island is off the coast of Savannah, and that's a, that's a cool place to go and visit. So when we're out there here in a couple of weeks, we won't be able to visit Tybee Island. We'll just be spending the night in Savannah and probably have dinner and breakfast and stuff the next day. And, and then come on home. But again, that's with uh, us driving. It's not. Uh, it's not in an aeroplane. Oh. <laughs> All right. So again, about ten minutes here until we get to the next. Our next fix, which is just on the coast to the east of Savannah, then we'll be inbound. Because you got to watch out for uh, what Hunter Army Airfield, which is like southeast of Savannah International Airport, where we're going to. Where we're going to is Kilo Sierra Alpha Victor. But we're still 20 miles out, so we probably got a little bit here before they start giving us our descent. Alpha is at flight level 370, descending 
Still right on the. You know, so we can just see the coast. Let's see if they'll give us a, a thousand foot descent here. See if we can get lower, huh? By a thousand, just a thousand. Back on the power here. We still got to control the power. Autopilot. We don't have auto throttles. <laughs> but we are descending down 1,000 feet per minute. Pull back on the power here a little bit. We're going to go to 5,000. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more rich. Here we go. Now we're kind of getting, seeing a little bit, a little bit more. I mean, clearly we're going to expect Savannah to basically be at sea level. <laughs> so, 5,000 feet. We're 5,000 feet above the ground. So, that way maybe we'll have a nice view of Savannah, Tybee Island and stuff on, on our inbound here. Because we've got seven minutes here. Still 16 miles out before we get to our next fix here. Which really we're on now the uh, the RNAV approach. So if you go on like Sky Vector or something like that, this is this would be the the approach. Basically, bring us up the coast, right along the coast, and then pretty much a turn inbound right to runway two eight. So there we go. Now oh, we got a nice view here. That's good. Now we can actually see some things. All right, leveling up. I'm gonna bring the power back in. Go back to about 2,500 RPMs. And there we are. The Savannah Coast of Georgia. Going to 120 decimal 85 American 1409 See what we can. Somebody's got some little airstrip over there, Barber Island. But yeah, it's just going to take us up the coast here. And then we, we should get almost like a 90 degree turn to the left once we're uh, once we're inbound, really, actually, for landing. So we'll see if something, something should start happening here pretty soon. I guess over here on Sky Vector, I guess I could actually probably... bring it up over here on, on Sky Vector... And look at it so I can see where, where what's happening here. I wonder where the guys are going to next, right after Savannah. I wonder where they'll go to next. This might be some interesting flying for me. <laughs> All right, there's Jacksonville. There's Savannah. Yep, gonna bring us right up here. Oh, I'll see Barber Island. All right, I'll see Barber Island on Sky Vector. Got that going on. In case you're interested, so this is what I'm, what what I'm looking at, on Sky Vector. So here we are in Sky Vector, coming into Savannah. We're just coming right up. Down here is. Uh, Here's Eagle Deck coming up through Savannah. There's Barber Island. So we're just coming straight up the coast here. And we're going to basically turn in. So, very cool. I'm just so, yeah, just going to bring us 
Yeah, we'll see here. We'll see what it gives us, but this is the approach. So, at least this is what they gave us when I filed IFR. Everything is looking, is looking good. So Barber Island. This is actually St. Catherine's Island that we're gonna fly, fly over here. And then you get up here in the coast with a bunch of other barrier islands. Look at that, look at that right there. Wow, the graphics. That is amazing. We'll get back in the cockpit here. All right, mid Midway Airport. Two three, three decimal eight five. It's us. Good day. One two zero decimal eight five for Cessna Tree Mike Zulu. Jacksonville Center, Cessna Nova. It's us. Two Tree Mike Zulu, five thousand one hundred feet. Cessna November, two Tree Mike Zulu, Jacksonville Center, altimeter three zero decimal one nine. Continue to Kathy. All right, continue to Kathy. Everything's looking good. November 2-3, Mike Zulu has been performing real well for us here in this flight. So we're going to come up here. Now we're going to, now that we're coming up the coast, we're going to make a little bit of a right turn here at Kathy. And then head on up. See what the next uh, fix is. Sometime we're, sometime we're probably going to get like t Talohi uh, or War Warib. It's going to be some of our initial fixes here for the actual RNAV runway 28. So we'll see here. Looking good. About two minutes out from that uh, Kathy fix. Boy, this one four. Yep. Good day. Southwest two nine or six Jacksonville Center. Continue as planned. Delta one zero nine or seven contact Jacksonville Center. A lot of conversations going on. Good day. Going to one one eight decimal for Cessna Tree Mike Zulu. Jack. Savannah approach Cessna November. Two tree, Mike Zulu, there we 5, go. There we go. Cessna November two tree, Mike Zulu, Savannah approach altimeter tree zero decimal one niner. Continue to count right. as planned. Just checking out the nice Georgia coast here. All this bios. What did we say this was? This was St. Catharines. Cessna tree, Mike Zulu. Oh. What's us to climb up? Climb and maintain nine thousand feet. Expect RNAV Yankee. They're gonna have. They're gonna have us bring. They're gonna have us descend. Transition cleared to lean Cessna Tree Mike Zulu. I think our next. I think our next fix is what he just called out. So we're gonna go ahead and put nine thousand on the dial. We're gonna go ahead and do a flight level change with that. A little change of 9,000. 9,000 feet. Flight level change. Go ahead and do it at 80 knots. 
wants us to go back up. I guess that's probably one of the things that happens. We descend down. ATC doesn't know that we're already low. So we'll go ahead and honor that and see what happens. It wants us to go to Arlene. Arlene is the next fix, so we're good there. Arlene was the transition. So I I'm, I don't see Arlene here. Go full power here as we in the climb. I was looking over here at the chart here. I don't see. I don't see that. I don't see that going in. It's not yet on the chart. All right. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Because that's what he wants us to go to. Again, we can bring up text so you can actually. So if we come over here. Oops. Come over here. We can scroll down. This is all the text for ATC. RNAV Y runway 28. Oh, okay. Yeah, Arlene. Okay. Yeah, we're cleared. Okay. So I don't think there is a documented RNAV uh, uh, Yankee approach, just a RNAV Zulu approach. That's probably why. Okay. Well, I don't have a documentation then for that. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the old sky vector and we'll just fly it here in microsoft flight simulator so we've got a flight level change going back to 9,000 feet at some point probably here as soon as we get to Arlene, then they're going to drop us down so everything is looking good here They haven't yelled at us for our 1,000 foot per minute climb up here to, as we go back up, we can also lean it out just a little bit as we climb back up per ATC instructions. Level off here at 7,500. I'm going to come down here. 5,000 on the old heading bug. Thousand feet per minute. <laughs> and now back down. Head this nice up and this nice down. Up and down. <laughs> All right, backing off the power here as we are in our descent. Go ahead and enriching it back up just a little bit. There we go. Get back down under the weather. Expedite. Okay, here we go. 1,500 feet per minute. Backing off the power. Screaming along here. down here in the descent coming back out of the crud there's Har Hunter Army Airfield sending down 1500 feet per minute 
5.5 going to 5. Direct Arlene. Looking good. All right, coming up on 200 to go. Let's go ahead and look out the window so we can see. Ooh, that's nice. Bows. Nice bows of Savannah. Let's roll in some power. Get back to our 2,500. Now, if they step us down, if they step us down anymore, we're just going to go full rich. I think the operating manual really says anything above 5,000 feet is where you lean it out for but we're anything under 5,000 feet, we're just gonna go full rich. So hold this right for right now. Let's come over here. You can see our what our approach is. We're gonna come around here and then inbound. So I am gonna go ahead and go a little bit closer range there. There we go. Check out that. Look at the weather though. That's amazing. All right, everything's looking good. Number two, three, Mike Zulu's performing real well for us here. We're coming up on our lean fix here in just a couple minutes. We'll make that turn. Turn to the right. Then kind of basically do a super extended downwind for runway 28. Right on the right here at 5,000 feet, right on the base of these of these clouds right here. <laughs> Looking good here. Coast of Savannah. And so we've had these clouds, but no weather, no real uh, rain or precipitation yet. Can definitely see the river. Town of Savannah, river. Over there, this is this is what Tybee Island, I think, over there. Yeah, that's Tybee Island. Let's get a little better look at it once we get once we make this turn to the right. At our lane here. All right, not above 210. Descend and maintain 4,000. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet. Keep speed, not above 210. Not Cessna tree, Mike Zulu. Let's go 1,000 feet per minute. Come back on the power just a little bit. Descend down down as we start to see the town of Savannah. So over here at 11 o'clock, Savannah River coming out here to the Atlantic Ocean to the right. There we go. Arlene, here we go. Arnav, runway 28. Hunter Army Airfield. I 
I'm looking for a savannah, but I do not see it. It's out over there, right out there somewhere. All right, let's go back in the cockpit. Get our heads back in the cockpit here. All right, we're definitely way too fast here. Let's slow this down here. We're 200 to go, but we went a little fast there. Not too bad. It's not bump. It's not bad. It's no, no real turbulence or anything like that, so I'm not, not too worried about it. If there was bumps, we'd have to really come back in the... Because I do have overstress in the airplane on, so... It's us. 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet Cessna Tree Mike Zulu. That's us. 3,000. Come back on the power just a little bit more. All right, we're under. I'm going to go ahead and go full rich now. So I'm going to do a go ahead and do a, a gumps check. So... Gas is on both. Undercarriage is down. Mixture is full rich. Prop is set. Seats and seat belts all look good. All right. There we go. Flying the R nav. Flying the R nav. I'll be right back here. Okay. Looking good. Everything's looking good. Everything's in the green. Oh, pressure looks good at all times. I like all the gauges. Everything's looking good. All right. Wingman check. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're good. Coming over the Savannah River here. So they gave us the RNAV, but uh, since we're underneath here, once we get runway in sight, we'll go visual. Visual using the sticks. Well, there is the Savannah River. With the town of Savannah. Up over there off the left wingtip. We'll cross over into South Kakalaki just for a little bit on this approach. Alright, that's us. 2,000 feet. Two thousand feet on the old bug. I like it. I like our thousand foot per minute here descents. All right, looking good. Got under all that crud. It's like there's a spotlight, I think, right on the airport. <laughs> there's the airport in sight. I got it. Right over there. There we go, right between the antennas. All right, so airport is in sight here. Come down to 2,000. On the bug, just like it wants us to do, we'll go ahead and let the autopilot just kind of bring us on in. And then once we're on final, we'll go ahead and go ahead and turn off that autopilot, fly it on the sticks, show you how amazing I am as an Xbox Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 pilot. <laughs> nah, not really.
I want. I don't think they've. I don't. Ha, I haven't bought payware or anything for Savannah, so I'm not expecting any, any greatness. Uh, just the stock scenery here for Savannah, but I've got I've got runway in sight. I got two eight in sight. I think over there. I'm gonna go ahead and come into just a little bit more power. All right, just about to get to two, level off at two thousand feet. You can see now the town of Savannah is loading in. Here we go. One two five nine seven five. Roger that, buddy. Tower on one two five decimal niner seven five Cessna Tree Mike Zulu. All right, we're inbound here. Savannah Tower Cessna November two Tree Mike Zulu niner miles east inbound RNAV Yankee runway mm -hmm. two eight approach. Cessna November two Tree Mike Zulu Savannah Tower. Altimeter tree zero decimal one niner wind zero niner seven at seven. Runway two eight approach. All right, we're clear. Cleared RNAV Yankee runway two eight approach. Cessna tree might so we got a little bit of a we got like a tailwind here. So we'll just have to when we get down, we'll just have to finagle the old throttle. Mmm, yoke stick. I don't have a yoke stick. Throttle, mm. trim, 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 and then kablamo, right onto the deck. We'll do it like F eighteen. <laughs> no, 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 we won't. So, all right. So if if, if you're interested, so we're already. Uh, we could, like I said, we could have uh, capture the glide slope and all that on the R nav and all that, but we're not going to do that. So I am. That beep you just heard, that is autopilot off. Clear to land runway two eight. Trim trim trim. Trim trim trim. Trim trim trim. trim. <laughs> Good, huh? I got runway in sight. There's the town of Savannah. Down there is more historic. Down right down there is more historic Savannah. This is all of the the container ships and all that kind of stuff. The port, the port of Savannah. Is what I'm trying to say, port of Savannah. All right, start coming back on the power here. I'm not sure if the white arc is true on this. Because it just seems like 85 knots is really low for, for initial flap speed. We got a pretty good crosswind. They're saying the wind's one nine zero. So we actually so. First notch of flaps. Wingman check, like it. Second notch of flaps. Red over white. Not really sure if we're good. we're not gonna need full flaps on this. I'm not gonna do full flaps. Did I just put down flaps? I think I just put down full flaps. 
Yes, I did. Trim, trim, trim. Woo, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Roll it out here, just roll it out. Roll it out, rolling, rolling. Somebody is on the final somewhere? Yeah. You can see them there. They're on final. That's cool. What's up? Let's get off the runway for them so we don't make them go around. Turn it up. Poor night. There we go. Uh, we want to go to uh, parking. Savannah ground Cessna November two tree Mike Zulu taxi to parking. Cessna November two tree Mike Zulu taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Echo Foxtrot. Gotcha. <laughs> Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Echo Foxtrot Cessna. All right, well there's our flight here. I just noticed one error that I did my in my gun check. It's coming down in, and that was everything's good, but I did not put on landing lights. Now well, you can see the planes on final here. There he is. Don't know if this is another human player or... Yeah, it's probably AI. Coming into Savannah International. We're going to come over here, park, shut it down. And then that will conclude our flight here. From Akala up to... Savannah just like M0A is doing on their series of videos as they are going to Oshkosh so I am going to recreate their flights to Oshkosh uh, the ramp is clear so I am just going to cut across here look at that we got some we got some ground personnel Sure, I don't meet grinder them. <laughs> there we go. Parking brake is set. There is that landing light I did not turn off. Lights coming off. Pedo heat coming off. Everything else, flaps are up, mixture is right now, throttle is idle. Everything's looking good. <sighs> yep, got it. Let's go ahead and pull the fuel valve. That turns everything off. Avionics can come off. Alternator is off. Master is off and key is now off. There we go. Well, welcome to Savannah. 
Fun flight again. You can go down in the description below and check out the in real life flight that M0A has done on their way to Oshkosh, which I am going to be recreating here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Xbox Series S. So check them out. Check out the videos. Watch their videos. And then probably just a day or two later, you'll see my videos as I'm recreating their flights. Ah. I'm Uncle Mike Mike, your favorite gamer's favorite uncle, and I'll see you on the next flight. Bye.